Hey, what's up? This is Hunter from Tortoise and Harris Software, and today we're going to be talking about how to test your primary call to action on your homepage or other key landing page using Google Optimize to run the split tests. Um, so, if you don't know what a split test is, that's basically where you change like one element of a uh, page. You know, you give them uh, people version A or version B, and basically just ask them what they like better. And since we're not directly asking people uh, what they like better, uh, we're testing to see which one um, does a particular action better um, on your website. So um, with all that said, I'm going to pop over here to the screen capture and we'll take a look at what I'm talking about. Um, so on the home page of the Tortoise and Hare software website here, and on the you can see that the primary call to action here is to book a free consultation so when people click on this page um, it's going to take them to this page which um, allows them to book a free digital marketing consultation with their kind of self-serve calendar um, here and uh, this is doing good but we're gonna test and see if it could be better um, so I've created this other landing page here, um, request a free proposal. Um, you know, I spied on some of the, the larger agencies um, and saw that they were using this call to action and that um, I wanted to test and see if maybe um, requesting a free proposal was something that would work better for uh, Tortoise and Hare. Um, let me just quickly center this because I noticed it looks weird. Um, center. Okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah, so I also kind of came up with some other ideas. So basically, you know, the current is a uh, book a free consultation. You know, I had some other ideas to test, like book a free video call you know, uh, request a free proposal um, or book a qualification call. Um, so for this first test, we're going to run this request a free proposal. And depending on how that goes, I might test some of these other ones in the future. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to pop over here to the Google Optimize. Um, so this is Google Optimize. It's a free software that you can kind of sign up for and then install on your website. Um, and I've already done all that um, so I'm gonna come over here and create an experience um, and say uh, testing primary call to action okay and what you what URL would you like to use URL of the home page is the one we'll do and then we'll choose an a B test here also known as a split test um, so I'm going to click add variant and for this one we'll do request a free proposal CTA okay so that will kind of like load up two things there's an original uh, the original page and the request a free proposal split test variant um, and they're both going to be 50% weighted. You can change that if you want, but 50-50 is what would like to do here. Um, so I'm going to click Edit. And that's going to load up the page and basically this like kind of page builder-y you know, view that will allow you to select individual ele elements and like make various changes to them for your split test. So this is the link that we're going to be changing. So I'm going to click on the link element here, and then I'm going to come over to the URL that we want to change it to, and I'm going to paste that in over here. So, you know, we've updated the, the destination here. Um, and then now I'm going to also test or change the uh, text to request request a free proposal and then hit done and then X and then save I'm gonna ignore that um, yeah so basically 
we're all done with that. Um, so, you know, change the, the link destination and the text within the primary CTA. Um, then I'm going to come down here and do the page targeting, edit this page targeting, and I'm going to change this to equals to make sure that we got the right URL. And there's no trailing sl slash at the end, so I wanted to update that to make sure there's a trailing slash. Um, and you can kind of test your URL to make sure that this is working right on the, the matching. So I'm going to check the home page URL, see that one actually works. And then I'm going to check a non home page URL. You see, that one does not work. And then I'll also even check a blog URL just to make sure that doesn't work. Um, and boom. Okay, so we're, we see it's matching on the correct page, not matching on pages we don't want it to match on. And I will hit save. Okay, so page targeting when it matches the home page exactly, and um, we'll do all all visitors here, and I'm gonna skip the description um, for this test, and then we're gonna choose our objectives. So our primary objective, I'm gonna choose from a list, and I'm going to choose, and these are like all the conversions basically I've defined in. Um, Google Analytics uh, or you know some out-of-the-box ones that come with Google Optimize um, so I'm going to choose the contact form submission goal and I've wrapped up this goal um, into so both book a free consultation and a form fill will trigger this goal so both of them work here um, so that's gonna be the primary objective and then I'm also going to do a, a secondary objective of bounces um, you know because basically like if somebody moves from one page to the other that counts as a non bounce visit which can be an indication of interest so basically if the bounce rate reduces on this page then I know that people are at least clicking the primary call to action more often um, and you know that tells me that they like the primary call to action and better but they may not like maybe something on this page and maybe this page needs to be more you know uh, appealing or friendly in some way um, so I'm going to test those two kind of you know objectives of a you know I want the you know form fills or the you know actual consultation booked or whatever the most but then the kind of a secondary objective is like you know how does this impact the bounce rate um, so yeah um, so I know Optimize is installed correctly. I use an ad blocker, so that's why this isn't working. But you know, definitely want to you know check and make sure that your installation is working if it's giving you a, a nasty gram here. Um, and then I'm going to switch on email notifications, traffic allocation 100%. That's all good, and the activation event page load uh, also good. Um, and then I'm going to start and start again um, so yeah so basically like Google will allow you to run these tests for 90 days at a time so you know the thing is you have to have the sufficient volume on your website to even be able to run these tests um, but the home page of my site does have enough volume that I can at least get some feedback it might not be perfect but um, it's good enough um, so basically from now until the middle of April uh, you know people on my site will be hitting this home page half of them will see book a free consultation and be taken to the free consultation booking page and half of them will be taken to the or be shown request a free proposal and then if they click they'll be taken to the request a free proposal uh, page you know and then in uh, you know I'll get an email basically when the test is over and then uh, I'll come back and look and see what the results are and um, you know take action from there depending on what it looks like uh, so yeah so that's how you can set up a split test with Google optimize you know this is one of the things that I'm doing for uh, you know the tortoise and hair software website now um, I'm doing some other kind of conversion rate op optimization activities for some other clients but um, definitely want to do more conversion rate optimization uh, work so um, you know basically working on um, the the offering here slash learning more about the process and um, 
you know, how to use it to kind of influence conversion rates in the positive direction. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, um, definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing some more kind of conversion rate optimization um, videos, other digital marketing videos. I know I'm going to have at least one other test here uh, to test some, some blog design uh, layouts to try and increase email subscribers. Um, so definitely follow along on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, um, again, I'm Hunter Nelson, uh, Tortoise and Hare Software, and thanks for watching.